It's Monday, November 27th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Broward County deputies are trying to figure out what led to a three-year-old being shot and killed at an extended stay motel in Tamarack. A news release from the sheriff's office says first responders were called about a shooting just after 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. Authorities say the injured child was with a woman and was pronounced dead at the scene. Detectives would not say if the woman and child were related or if they're looking for a shooter. Florida is having a record year for sea turtle nesting despite growing concern about threats from climate change. Preliminary state statistics show teams found almost 134,000 loggerhead turtle nests, breaking a record set in 2016. Same for green turtles, where the estimate of at least 76,500 nests is well above the previous mark set in 2017. Florida beaches are one of the most important hatcheries for loggerheads in the world, but researchers are finding a majority of baby sea turtles born on our coastline are female. Sand temperatures play a major role in determining sea turtle sex, so in general, warmer temperatures produce more female turtles. Sand temperatures are expected to increase dramatically over the next few decades. And the coldest weather of the season may be on the way. A cold front passing through Florida today is expected to drop temperatures well below average for late November. On Tuesday, Orlando's high temperature is forecast to be 62 degrees with lows in the 40s and 50s. Late in the work week, you can expect warmer weather to return with highs back in the 70s and 80s heading into the weekend with a few showers around. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. Located about 35 miles away from Walt Disney World, the Lakeland Antique Mall is one of the foremost dealers of Disney props in the world, with several of its vendors offering authentic pieces of Disney World acquired directly from the resort. Many of them come from Property Control, a secret store exclusive to Disney World cast members where out-of-season merchandise and disused props are sold. In addition, some vendors inside the mall offer cast member exclusive merch, rare Disney pins, vintage Mickey Mouse collectibles from the 1930s, as well as props from Universal Studios. Your Florida Daily is produced by New 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.